Well, it's now time for uh, our feature, Make Me Your Mayor. As we head up very quickly to the 1st of November, going to be a very important day for the Freedom Front plus Chwani mayoral candidate, Mr. Grundy Tennyson, uh, joining us now. Chwani, currently led, of course, by the DA Coalition. Mr. Tennyson, good to have you with us here on the South African Morning. How are you going to wrestle the metro away from the DA? Good morning, Gareth and viewers. Um, yeah, it's uh, quite a big task lying ahead. I think there's basically three major points that we would like to address as Freedom Front. Uh, first of all is inefficient administration with a big lack of political oversight. Secondly, um, we feel there's failed public participation in view of the absence of ward committees, which allows the community to make inputs to uh, local government. And then thirdly, we feel that the communities are overburdened in terms of um, rates and taxes, and that should be addressed. Those are the major things. And then obviously, the other thing uh, that's leading to uh, some of these problems is um, the decay or decline of our infrastructure in view of um, excessive cross-subsidization, um, which should be stopped. The community should get back what they pay for. They should get value for money in terms of um, the services. And that's one of the major issues that we have identified in uh, the capital city. But there's um, quite a lot of debt in Chwane, isn't yeah. there? That's the problem, isn't it? There's quite a lot of uh, debt, and that's where that, uh, uh, that money is going. So I suppose you've got to get the debt levels down so that the money paid by rate, uh, rate payers uh, is actually going to be used for what it's meant to. But that's, it, it's quite a big bite of the elephant there, isn't it? Yes, I agree totally. And one of the ways to address this is to have a proper incentive in place and not to incentivize the people who are the defaulters, but rather to incentivize your good payers. And one of the uh, best ways to do that is to get the people to move across to um, prepaid electricity. Um, but unfortunately, at the moment, we are sitting with a, with a awkward situation in the sense that if you are on prepaid electricity in, in uh, Tswane, you are paying approximately 7% admin fee. So you are paying more than the guy with the postpaid. So that's the first thing that we would like to address is to review the tariffs specifically for prepaid so that the people can become incentivized. What are the advantages? First of all, we would see that the, uh, uh, the city would then actually get its money in at least uh, 65 days beforehand. And that would then lead to either a saving on interest or actually earning interest for the city. Um, currently, uh, the um, arrears is about 13, almost 14 billion rand in arrears, oh. of which government is also uh, guilty. Um, then there, there's other stuff that, uh, that's very concerning at the moment, and I don't know how this was slipped, because uh, uh, legally it should not be allowed, but employees are owing about... Um, 16 billion, uh, 16 million, sorry, in arrears. And then um, other things that are outstanding is housing rentals. Uh, and it's not necessarily normal housing, but it's also buildings that's, been, that's owned by the municipality. So on all of these, there should be a hard clamp down. Uh, employees and even councillors. Councillors are owing 723 million in arrears. And there's a lot of numbers, of course, that you're throwing around, Mr. Tennis, and it's, it's staggering numbers. And what's sad about working in news, and I'm sure working in, in politics as well, is we throw around hundreds of millions and uh, billions, and I think people just forget what kind of money uh, we're actually talking about. Just in the last question that I have with you, uh, there's a lot of money being spoken about. Do you think uh, that your party can run Swanee on its own, or are you open to coalitions? And if so... Who would you want to work with? And more importantly, in our final uh, question to you, who would you not want to work with? Last uh, a minute or so with you. Thank you, uh, Gareth. Yeah, first of all, we are open to coalitions. We will enter into coalitions with party who, parties who share our uh, values um, and we can go along with them as long as it is in the interest of the people that we are serving, first of all. 
Secondly, uh, regarding the, uh, who we would not like to uh, go into collision with is obviously um, the ANC and uh, definitely the EFF because that won't be a coalition, it will be a coalition. Um, we'll have conflicting interests right throughout the time, but there's also another um, of possibility. Should no party obtain a, uh, enough majority or enough seats that there's a type of a hung parliament, you can go, uh, uh, legislation makes provision that you can ask to have a, a combined or a, uh, a com uh, not a mayoral committee, an executive committee, which is then uh, uh, compiled by actually on a proportional basis, which mm -hmm. then allows for each party to participate. And that will force all parties to work together to offer the service to the community. And that would be an option that we would also consider. Well, I appreciate your time in speaking to us. Uh, you got away with not mentioning the DA, but I'm sure we'll speak again, Mr. Grundy uh, Tiernison uh, from the Freedom Front Plus, as far as Tswani uh, is concerned.